Now the warrior robots in disguise are in their own action-packed Transformer comic on sale now from Marvel Comics. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special video showcase we're going to once again be returning to the Marvel UK Transformers comic. What we're going to do for the first couple of minutes or so is a very quick review, flicking from cover to cover and stopping at anything that's interesting. After that we'll come back to the beginning, I'll zoom in for you and you've got the opportunity to read the comic for yourself. There's not many to go now, we're up to issue 329. This originally came out around about the 7th of December 1991 and it cost 55 pence. So the main story is, as you can see, it's called last Autobot we have Spike Wiki here who of course is Cerebros's head which of course is uh, Fortress Maximus's head the Ark has crashed on Earth again Galvatron has escaped and Spike Wiki is talking to himself fighting his demons etc deciding whether he should continue or not but of course he then decides to in fact uh, binary bonds even though we haven't seen it yet with Fortress Maximus again Meanwhile, the Neo Knights on Cybertron are being led by Hi-Q. Hi-Q can still feel something um, inside him because if you remember, he was bonded to Optimus Prime. He's telling um, the Neo Knights that there is the last Autobot left on Cybertron and that they need to trust him and follow him. Meanwhile, on the Autobot sh ship that escaped Cybertron, they're heading to where the Decepticons are and already it looks like they're not doing much good. Right, we've got the letters pages here. We've got a huge fact file for Fortress Maximus. This is going to be difficult, so what I'm going to suggest you do is either slow it right down or pause there. And again, keep slowing it down. Pause if you need to, if you want to read this. I'm sorry there's no easier way. And then the last part here, again, I'm just going to suggest you pause, and then you can read that at your own leisure. We've got Machine Man as the B story, which is everybody knows I didn't really pay much attention to. So we'll just quickly gloss over that. We've got an advert for next week, and indeed an advert for the annuals that are coming out at the end of this year, as well as the classic gold box figures that were released in Europe and Australasian countries. Right, I'm gonna be nice and quiet. I suggest slowing the speed down and put the sound off and you can read it for yourself. And this concludes issue 329, next issue in a couple of days.